Before we start talking about growing into be a pillar of the community, before we start talking about uh, how what we need you to do, can we make sure these brothers and sisters have food and clothing and money and shelter? Because quite frankly, if I don't have those things, I'm not talking about anything else. I'd ask you to ask yourself, what do you want people to think, feel, and do after they have engaged you? I'd add from a leadership context, what you want them to do is incredibly important because if you are leading or managing people, the things that they do impact your career. You want to motivate and entice people to do things to advance your organization. We live our lives in such a way and how often on the outside our lives look so fabulous and people don't realize how close we are to the edge. And it's something I want you all to consider for yourselves because at some point we have to decide that our mental health is important enough to do something about because without our mental health, the rest of our health goes by the wayside and we're not able to appropriately deal with our children and our families, our communities and our jobs. I tell them I exercise my many options to a number of different emotions multiple times a day. I am not moving. There is spiritual support and there is physical support and the two should go together. I have t-shirts that say I talk to Jesus and my therapist. That's gonna be the name of my book, y'all watch for that. <laughs> the brand that I want to project is that I'm a great leader and coach. I'm intelligent, I have integrity, I'm personable and engaging, I'm available, I'm emulated, consistent, I'm kind of funny, a little witty. 